Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. They have done it. The Springboks have beaten the All Blacks down in Cape Town, 18 points to 12, keeping New Zealand trialless, by the way, two tries to zero to win the Freedom Cup to beat the All Blacks for the fourth time in a row and to basically virtually win the Rugby Championship. What an absolutely epic encounter. A sloppy first half, it must be said, um, from the box. But oh, the way they pulled themselves back up, this, the bench, the impact the bench made was massive. And a couple of big players putting their hands up. And I tell you what, this particular box group, it, it starts to become such a big conversation with regards to are they the best they are the best spring box side we've ever had. This group of players are the best spring box side we've ever had. I, I don't think that's up to for debate. Back-to-back -back world champions, British and Irish Lions series, about to win their second rugby championship. They've be beaten the All Blacks four times in a row. They've gotten the Freedom Cup back after 14 years. It, it, it's just they keep notching up achievements. And uh, it's such an easy group to get behind because it's such a good group of people and a phenomenal group of players. And tonight's, tonight's game just kind of exemplified that. New Zealand weren't bad, you know, they weren't there. And in fact, they dominated for, for I mean, at first half, they were deserved leaders at the break. And the, and the box weren't great, to be perfectly honest. You know, we, we took a while to get into the game. Um, but just the bench impact, a couple of, uh, well, two yellow cards apiece, for example, um, but some some very big performances. And uh, just, they just know how to win. You know, they just got this never, day, never say die attitude where they play that 80 minute game week in, week out, and they don't stuff up. You know, they don't come up short. That's what they do so well. Um, but let's get into the game, shall we? Because it was a very interesting one. Because uh, Yasmin yeah, Visa, you know, another strong game, to be fair, uh, got yellow carded in the 13th minute. And uh, that allowed David McKenzie to give an early lead to New Zealand after 14 minutes. Um, however, Seba Reese was then binned a minute later for uh, uh, taking out, um, I think it was Billy LaRue in the air. He was terrific in the air, actually, was Billy LaRue. Not always been the strongest uh, aspect of his game, um, but was very good in the air tonight. Uh, and that suddenly made it 14 on 14, but uh, we couldn't really make it work. Ironically, we actually had a couple of penalties inside New Zealand territory and instead decided to go to the corner, which was interesting. It didn't really pay off for us, but it was interesting to see because four or five years ago, we wouldn't have done that. Maybe we shouldn't have done it, but we wouldn't have. Um, so Damien McKenzie actually doubled the lead in the 28th minute before we finally got our first points on the board um, in the 31st through the boot of Andre Pollard and then very frustratingly conceding a penalty right before half time, where Damien McKenzie then made it nine points to three. So six points at the break and uh, that's actually the margin that ended up being by um, at the end of the game. After half time, the box started well. We had a really, really good passenger play. Malcolm Marks came on. Made a very big impact um, in the scoring the match-winning try. But Sia Khaleesi eventually crossed the line. 48 minutes, uh, it just relentless pressure it was. And then this, the captain, who had another good game, uh, dove over the line. Pollard making no mistake. And uh, all of a sudden, 10 points to 9. Sats Bamagomazulu then came on very shortly afterwards. Uh, got a penalty and uh, did get the 3 before Dave McKenzie in the 58th minute um, got one back. He actually missed a couple of kicks today in McKenzie. And he, I tell you what, he gets those kicks another day and we might lose that game. Uh, a big moment in the game was Billy Rue being yellow card in the 61st minute. But uh, I thought we managed it so, so well. Had a lot of pressure on us. Um, managed to force a couple, force a couple of turnovers. Got ourselves out of our own half. And, and then Tula Lomax got yellow card in the 72nd minute. An intelligent piece of work. A uh, bit of space in behind the All Blacks uh, defense and Chesney Colby caught it. Hendricks uh, aware to it, was about to pass, heard the call, chipped over the top. Tua Lomax then took out Chesney and Colby and um, he was the other card. Billy Lewis, the other card earlier, by the way, was for um, a knock on. He tried to go for the interception. Had he not, could have been tried time. And uh, a couple of, of uh, penalties there. He went to the corner. Uh, Malcolm Marks in the back of Rowley Moore. The call was used at once. It was about to call it used at two. Sebi Reeves was actually complaining to the referee. And literally in that split second, as he looked to the referee to say, ref, Malcolm Marks, bang, into the corner. Off he went. Uh, 18 points to 12. Sasha missing that. He actually also missed a penalty early on. Didn't kick brilliantly. Uh, if we're going to be brutally honest, um, but didn't need to in the end. Uh, very interesting stats. So, for example, a bit of a, a stat, a quick, a quick take is uh, uh, two tries to none, 10 handling errors from the box, nine from New Zealand. So it was a bit sloppy at times. Um, interesting enough, I felt that the box um, conceded uh, and they conceded a lot more turnovers, but uh, it was five to eight. I feel that that could actually be wrong because I 
felt like we were losing turnovers all the time. Um, but um, New Zealand winning nine turnovers, I think that was probably the main thing. They were winning a lot of turnovers. Uh, 14 penalties to 13, so discipline was pretty was pretty uh, consistent. Uh, territory was actually at 50-50. Possession was 54-46, but 64% uh, possession for the box in that final 10 minutes, which was massive. Uh, scrums much better from the box. A couple of scrum penalties. Uh, had that scrum dominance, which we haven't quite had in the last sort of two games. Um, the restarts were pretty good as well. Lineouts were a bit sketchy in the beginning. Chesney Colby took a lineout. I mean, really, we're starting to get it a little bit silly, aren't we? Chesney Colby taking lineouts is a bit hectic, but um, he was actually 100%. Bongi Manami lost a couple, but apart from that, we were pretty good. Uh, on the attack, more post contact meters, more line breaks, um, same amount of carries, fewer passes, but apart from that, very similar stats actually overall. Tackles made New Zealand had to make more, but uh, had a tackle completion of 89%, box 77%. But that shows you, doesn't it? You know, 89% tackle completion, you can see two tries. The box 77%, they don't concede a try. Um, and box with more kicks. Um, that, that stat that continues to, to big belief. Uh, David Delendi, what a game from him. He got man of the match. Nine carries at, at a, a, a match high alongside Jordi Barrett with nine. Jasper Vilipsa with eight. Uh, Cody Taylor and Wallace Atiti with two line breaks there as well. Um, in terms of defensively, Ruan Okia, what a shift he put in. Uh, 16 tackles. Evan Smith 14. Pierce Jeff, the toy, 13. Tyler Lomax, Ardy Severe, 15 apiece as well. So some pretty big uh, performance there. Scott Barrett, two turnovers. Uh, dominant tackles, Oxen Chair, Sia Khaleesi with two big ones. Um, what a game. What an absolute perler of a game. And uh, very, very proud of the effort. Very proud of the fact we've got the Freedom Cup. And... Uh, Basically, need two more points to wrap up the rugby championship. So, let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, this POC team continues to keep marching on. It's just, it's just a great outfit, isn't it? And uh, uh, what can't they do? That's what we need to find out. Really, it's not about what they can do. We know what they can do. That's that's most things. What can't they do? Maybe that's the question we should be asking. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, very 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 chuffed.